Welcome to Cameron House Marina, I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. This is the 2023 brand new Beneteau Antares 9 Admiral Edition. A bespoke variant of this innovative and popular Antares model, she is the penultimate vessel in the lineup according to size, superseded only by Antares 11, which is now in stock and the video's coming soon. She's seen a huge level of customisation, being fitted with every last desirable option to fulfil all of your boating habits. Sea trials concluded a top speed of just under 37 miles per hour in suboptimal sea conditions whilst powered by twin Mercury 150 horsepower outboards with a combined output of 300 horsepower and a time to plane in under 7 seconds. Completely bespoke, she accommodates 6 in comfort which can be pushed to a further 8 in optimum weather settings. Let's look at the exterior and interior in further detail. Compared to the plain version, so that's a Beneteau Antares 8, no level of customisation has been carried out on that yet. That's a 2023 hull number as well. But then when we look from that back onto Antares 9, the level of customisation on this is really, really high. All the features, all the characteristics of the vessel have been highlighted thanks to that sparkling blue hull side wrap and also around the roof and the superstructure. Now the boat carries a very chunky presence while it's sat here in the marina, even when you compare it to something bigger than an S30, sorry, an F37 here. We've added height to it with the twin domes, so at the back is your Glomex satellite TV track vision connectivity dome, that's satellite television, and then just below we also have a Simrad radar, both of which have been wrapped in gloss black to work with the go faster stripe here that apparently adds an extra 10 miles an hour onto you as you're going underway then twin gloss black motorboat aerials as well to again give the boat some presence up at the bow fender baskets have been added and then we have our four deck sunbathing cushions now people always ask me Ruben do you get the sun in Scotland well Obviously, yes, I am missing out the fact that it is minus four today, <laughs> but beggars can't be choosers. Now then, at the very tip of the bow is our step-on, step-off reboarding ladder. Fantastic if you want to beach the vessel. It just means that you can walk straight off the edge, nip down the ladder, and in you go for a swim or on you go onto the beach. Living underneath that is the electric anchor winch. Now we can fit this with chain, with rope combination, with a bruce, whatever anchor it is you want, we can get it sorted for you. Extended swim platform option, twin Mercury 150s, so 300 horsepower output in all. You saw performance earlier on in the video. Let's take a look in the cockpit. The cockpit benefits of two points of egress out onto the bow. We then have modular U-shaped seating round to the port side. That is offset. And it's modular because you can move this entire section here. You can also remove this section and just leave the back bench should you want to. The vast majority of people, they'll probably leave it up like this because you do have storage within this bucket and also within this bucket here. Notice how the table has built into the stainless steel frame a grab rail just circling their twin stainless steel cup holders. Fantastic if you're underway with seas are rough and you're trying to hold on for dear life back out here. It also then doubles when you flip the table over as a support rest for the bifolding table. Now everyone who sat outside has something to lean on and can put their drink, can put their lunch on it. You can also probably get a director's chair out here as well. Well, that's folded open like that. You've got grab rails everywhere. So you look one here, one along the backrest, one there, one there. So you can maintain your three points of contact at all times while you're going out up onto the bow of the boat. Our gas bottle lives underneath here. There's a big lazarette, which I'll show you in just a few moments and typical of the Antares range this back bench will slide backwards and forwards and you can also take the table away and put in a grate and a filler cushion turns this into a day bed we'll come on to that in just a moment the overhang is about a meter over or, or superseding the doors here so that means if you have all the canvas off which you can do you can take everything off you can leave a bimini up it will come off section by section if it does start to rain you still have pretty good protection if you want to stand here at the doors or leave the doors open in a little spot of drizzle features wise we've got fishing rod holders there we've got downlit blue led mood lights a white all round light there as well and then blue LED mood lights as well. At the back, transom shower, that is fresh water. And then this is your raw water deck wash. So what you do is you get a garden hose, plug it into that there, turn it on at the dash, there's a water pump in the lazarette. What that'll do is that'll suck in water from the outside and you can then just use it like a garden hose from the water mains to wash down your deck here if it gets dirty and also grubby. Sometimes it does. Anyone who's a boater will know how simple and easy it is 
I want the kids to bring sand, bring dirt, bring foliage on with them. Let's take a little look at the lazarette. We have got the optional range extenders on this, so two 300 litre tanks, one there and one there. That is your water pump for the auxiliary features at the transom, and then loads of space, wiring looms up the back, and then a huge lazarette, loads of space for tender, an engine, misbehaving animals and children as well. With this full day bed facility, not only have you got this, you also have another one up at the bow and when the sunshine season comes you really will appreciate having two separate areas to get to depending on which way the sun's shining and the time of day the other way i always think about these and not that many people are on board with this but i am if you have four friends staying on the boat overnight and they're not romantically involved so they don't want to share a bed with each other you can have one sleep in the forward cabin one in the aft one in the saloon and then when you get your diesel heating installed to this which we are doing if you want to run an outlet up here you can also have a fourth individual lie out here obviously in a sleeping bag now whoever snores is obviously getting kicked out here or whoever you like the least but it's a really nice option to have we'll get this back down and then we'll move on with the rest of the boat brilliant slide back the trifold patio doors now being on thousands of boats nothing nothing encapsulates the feeling of light and space quite like this nine meter Benito Antares nine look at the size of these hull side windows you've got the big side opening door here single piece windshield another port side big sliding window as well either side flanking the sunroof you have these skylights now everything has curtains so you can completely black this area out for privacy off to the port side the backrest on the aft bench is slightly more firm so it is more upright than our forward section here now i'll show you why in just a minute now that is a perfect place to sit I'm reclined and watch the television it is world cup season right now and then we close the table away put both the support legs back to where they belong we'll pop this cushion over here and then notice how it is very much reclined but we can then pull it back it just sits perfectly on the edge of the table and now the navigator has a seat with the grab rail and the socket and just lean forward and you can open the sliding window cup holders just in here that is the skylight for the aft cabin Beneteau on this crocodile skin effect feature and then grab rail there as I've mentioned but there's a phenomenal feeling of space in this it works really really well you can also remove the table and you can turn this into another double bed as well with it dropped down you then have accommodation for another two you can pull the curtains across to black this area off just up here as well if you want ventilation we've got combination blind with the fly net and then also with the blackout blind overhead also perfect place just for some people to sit and relax stick their feet up you've got heating up here as well maybe taking the views while you are underway we'll put it back up and we'll move on with the rest of the features on board okay underneath the aft bench are our battery isolators and then there's also another storage facility a small locker underneath that too the main feature over here has to be the galley so when we lift up the black lid twin gas burners stainless steel hot and cold sink and then your cup holders are there regardless whether or not the galley top is up or down downlit leds come from underneath the console and then a brand new fridge freezer obviously with the cellophane still on it covered under warranty and you can see fridge with a freezer compartment added for convenience cutlery storage in here bottle storage and then your bin trash receptacle on board a nice feature a lot of boats don't have that forward at the helm position now this seat the single bucket seat will rotate and swivel so if the helmsman wants to just turn around you can sit there get you an extra person sat around the table bolster that flips up and down and then it will move forwards and backwards depending on how tall you are and how long or wee your arms is uh, we've got trim tabs we've then got a remote controlled spotlight up on the roof to show you that there there's a bow thruster fitted to the vessel as well, a must have. And then we have our VHF with DSC just there, as you can see, unprogrammed, so you can stick in your MMSI number. Now look at any brand new car manufacturer. They're all going with the center console as a single piece screen. Analog buttons are sort of outdated now. So this 
has absolutely everything on it. It's a 12 inch screen, it's bigger than my future. There's so much more going on here than you typically get if you just had one, two, three gauges. Every single last bit of information I need, I can find from this because it is linked up to Mercury Smartcraft. So we can see the temperature the engines are running at, the pressure of everything, um, how fast we're going, we get the depth, we get our cognitive heading, we get eco GPS as well. So that'll tell you how many kilometers you're getting per liter. A fantastic feature. Now moving forward, we've got our chart plotter. Then you also have your echo. There's a transducer fitted to the boat. So it's got sonar, it's got down scan. You've also got radar fitted as well. It'll give you your GPS heading as you're moving on the ground with your navigation features there. And then a lot of people still will not use this and they'll get Navionics and they'll plug in an iPad or an iPhone. Well, you've got a 12 volt cigarette charger there. Just like in your car, in case you want to mount anything here, you want to have twin screens, it's completely up to you. All your buttons, analog buttons are here. Things like your lights, your twin wipers, and bilge pumps, accessories, and so on. Fuel, shut off valves, 12 volt, sorry, 12 volt socket, and then 230 as well. And then this feature, which is just loved by so many. Side opening door, just allows you to get straight up onto the bow. Going down into the atrium, heads, forward, master cabin, and then aft cabin here too. Let's start at the heads. Now it's big enough to get a sumo wrestler in here. We've got a pump flush sea toilet, also a waste tank fitted on board as well. For any of the lads who want to do their makeup, built, uh, built and bolted into the bulkhead is a vanity mirror. Up the back, we've got storage. Then all of these, this one opens, this one doesn't. All of these have uh, blinds so you can black these out for complete privacy. The sink, you just pull the tap faucet out, clips into here, wet head facility, and then storage underneath, and also a towel rail bolted in to the joinery here. Now this section, you just pop both these studs out and that gives you access into the electrical workings of the dash if you want to do any mechanical or electrical upgrades. But it's a very, very convenient head setup and it's very big, so if you're sat there, you've got plenty of room to move around and do what you need to do. Forward master cabin. Space saving sliding door so that just recedes into itself, doesn't take up any space within the cabin. We have offset the bed slightly to the starboard side, that gives us the walk round over here and also gives us this hanging locker storage facility. Look how we've got more grab and go cubby holes in there and then on top of that there's his and hers, three on this side and also three on this side. Individualised lockers for you to put your belongings. Furthermore, behind the single piece backrest which is a nice addition, it's very much soft touch. You've got these channeled areas as well. And then watch, with a single finger, we'll use a single finger, it's on a gas assisted strut. We can lift up the bed, and you've got one, two, and three little areas to put, well big areas really, to put what it is you want to put underneath the bed. All of this still in the cellophane, it is of course brand spanking new, and then the television is on a swing arm, with a side loading DVD player. But maybe you don't want to watch the TV in the morning. All you want to do is just open up the blinds and take in the view. So you have your skylight there. And then this one is your escape hatch. You can block both of those out, depending on what you want to do. And there's curtains that will come across to close off the hull side panoramic windows. The aft cabin has full standing headroom where the skylight is straight away as you come in. There's an opening porthole dead ahead of you. One shelf area up top and then one, two and also a third one which is closable with a door. Overspill seating which is just slightly segmented off. You can see where the join and the cushion is there. Everything's still in the cellophane. Of course it has to be being brand new. Notice how up at the bulkhead on the grab and go lockers there's no doors. That is because Bennett will know that if you have your bed in here and you're lying here, it's going to sort of get in the way of things. It's going to rifle all your bedding up as you open it and you'll struggle to get the doors open. Now behind that is the lazarette so they've made full use of the space down here. It will take two adults and two small kids as well. Look how they have stepped the hull just because this is the floor in the saloon so if it was all this level you'd have to crawl in and out and it wouldn't be quite as comfortable and as spacious as it is now. Up at the top side you've got your LED down lights. You can see them right next to the track for the curtain. Big window here. Unfortunately not a great view at this moment. We are both port side too and all you can see is the wood of the marina. You do have some storage underneath the bed, just underneath the wood there too. And then again, just to reiterate, the bed space here in the aft cabin is bigger 
than the forward, but it's just access that makes the forward one likely going to be your master. So the Antares 9 allows you to fulfill your nautical lifestyle to its full potential. That's thanks mainly to a great base level of innovation and then also pedigree customization in-house here at Marine Sales Scotland. It's thermally controlled with its full enclosure glass sliding patio doors and the heating system that's being installed. You then have all your creature comforts such as your uh, flat screen television, side loading DVD player, satellite TV, cooking facilities, onboard heads. It will definitely stand out on the key side thanks to its external features and this one will stand out in comparison to any other Antares 9 thanks to the modifications that we've made. What's better than having a drink while you're underway is having four and you've got a cup holder for each and every one of them built into the skylight. This is the escape hatch. Obviously the cushions for the four deck have been removed so you can see everything nice and clearly up here. In that segment is your electric anchor winch. We can fit that, as I said, with a chain, with a rope combination, whatever it is you want. And then straight away, you take away the arrestor wire and then off the front you go onto the beach. Our first Beneteau Antares 9, following our recent appointment as Beneteau dealers. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. We're fun in the water. Begins.